Hey guys, Freddy is about to be a little bit buffed in the next update, but even before the buff, he is already extremely powerful if played properly. These are my builds. As for the emblem, you can use the assassin, fighter, or in this case, I will be using the support emblem. Probably in my next video, I will explain in full detail why I have been using the support emblem for a lot of heroes. For the spell, I like using flicker, because it's hard to catch heroes with dash skill if you don't have flicker. At the start of the game, I will usually try to cut the top lane, but in this game I had a feeling they would be waiting for me in the bush. I didn't want to use the flicker to escape, it has a very long cooldown. Anyway, even without cutting the lane, I will still be able to get all the jungle minions. Every time Freya casts a skill, her attack speed will be increased, and he can stack up to 6 times. Do you see these orbs? Each basic attack will give her one orb. The more charges she has, the more damage she will deal when using the first skill. Also, it will increase the stone duration. Freya is so good right now because all she needs is a little bit of help from your mid laner and she can easily shut down the enemy top lane. Her damage output is insane, even with a much farm. Her second skill has 4 phases, each phase requires 2 orbs, but the first time you can cast her second skill without any stack. Every time she casts her second skill, she will gain a bit of shield and in that last phase she will deal an AoE stun. Her ultimate will refill all her orbs, it will increase her attack damage, makes her basic attack ranged and also it deals splash damage. I am pinging to let my team know where are the enemies, good thing they are following it. So the ideal combo will be, using the first skill with full orbs, then use ultimate, basic attack and then spend her second skill. And if the target has a dash and you cannot reach them, then use the last phase of her second skill and use flicker and stun. The target should be dead by the end of the combo. In this game we completely shut down their top lane, and that's how you should play when there is a fray in your team. All she needs is a little bit of help, and the enemy top lane will have a very hard time to farm. I saw that Minotaur was enraged, and since I had low HP, it's better to run and wait for a better opportunity. You can use her skill to increase her attack speed to take down the turret faster. As you can see, I'm always trying my best to keep all her charges up, so when we have to fight, her first skill will have a maximum stun duration and deal the most damage. This Luna is actually pretty smart, we haven't given any opportunity for the marksman to farm at all.
I had to make a decision between joining an almost over fight or getting the most important turret in the game, the middle turret. I think the answer is pretty clear. I had a feeling someone will go to the bottom lane to farm, so I decided to win this bush. When you are very close to the enemies, you don't have to engage with your first skill. You can save it when the target decides to use the dash skill. Remember to keep using her skills to attack and take down the turret faster. I think because of that ambush, Silvana doesn't feel too safe to farm anymore. The red is about to be up, and that means time to set the bait. You can use her second skill even without any target, just to keep her attack speed up. In this game, I was trying to play more objective than kill, because if the game drags too long, Freya is not as effective anymore, because she can get burst down really quickly if the enemy focus her first. Don't be the first one to jump into a team fight. wait for the right timing, that when the enemies are distracted with your tanks, then you can jump into their backline and then kill them almost instantly. This game was fairly easy, because we completely shut down their top lane, thanks to the power of Freya. All she needs is a little bit of help from the mid lane, and Larry she can do the rest. But I have another game that I think you guys will find it very interesting. Long story short, we had a terrible marksman that will end up with a 0-7 score, and with the lowest income in the whole game. Yes, including the enemy team. And the way I had to end the game, I will say was pretty epic, so let me show you the highlights of that game. In this game, the laning phase is a little bit different. My teammate really wanted to play Uranus top lane when I have already picked Freya, so I had to change my strategy for this game. Instead of going top, I decided to gain a lot more right from the start, which you will see that will be very beneficial for my team. Just waiting for the right timing. I constantly keep using the pings to let my teammate know what I'm trying to do. Good thing that this Hellcrow wasn't too bad and was actually listening. Ling is completely destroying our marksman, so I really had to do something to slow down his farm. I 
and you are probably well aware that Link really needs that blue buff almost as much as Fanny. I really didn't try to kill him because I thought he probably still had his ultimate. My main objective was stealing his blue buff. Uranus is already throwing the towel, which is quite understandable to be honest. Pay a lot of attention here. I saw that Kadita disappeared from the minimap just for a brief second. That means that she had just used her ultimate. With that information in mind, I will proceed with my next move. She just used her second skill. That means that she has no way to escape now. Ling is waiting to jump onto Hellcourt. They use him as a bait and wait for the right timing. Okay, this is a 2v2 situation. If the game prolongs any longer, I think our chance of winning will be very slim, because our marksman player is not performing well at all, and they have way too many late game heroes. Gotta do the high risk, high reward play. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, help me enjoy my day too by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Hey guys, I have decided to do a weekly skin giveaway because you guys have been amazing and I truly appreciate that. The price is 900 diamonds worth a giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment and I will randomly choose one. If you are selected, I will send you a direct message, but please don't leave your ID or the skin you want because I won't be picking those. Thanks and best of luck.